Hello guys, what is going on and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now today we are talking a bath news because although my bath is here next to me, we're not going to be talking about my bath. No, 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 no. We're going to be talking about a brand new bath model, which is going to be coming out very, very soon later on this year, I believe. So obviously this is my bath. If you didn't know, this is my fifth time at owning an bath. So I'd like to think that I know my stuff and I like to think that I am worthy of talking you through one of the two new bath models which is to come. So today I'm talking about another electric bath, it's not a petrol one, it's another electric one but it looks totally different to the current electric bath a bath have on the market at the moment shall I say. So I'm going to be talking to you about the brand new bath 600 E, E for electric obviously. So the baths coming in hot into the electric car market because they've only just really released the 500e the all electric bath and now they're bringing out this brand new 600e and i'm pleased to say it looks completely different to any bath which currently exists and it looks completely different to the current 500e bath which as i say is currently out but hasn't really been out for that long so let's just cut to the chase guys let's get to the exciting stuff that you want to know about the new bath 600e we're going to talk power we're going to talk figures and numbers yeah so it is going to be the fastest ever bath to leave the factory so it's going to have approximately 240 bhp so they're saying 236 so we're going to say approximately 240 we're going to add a couple of hps just for a bath right there but annoyingly the top speed will be under 100 miles per hour but 240 bhp that is big gains for the Abarth and as you know electric cars tend to be pretty fast nowadays it's good to know that although Abarth are bringing out another electric model it is actually going to be the fastest ever Abarth made I believe. So let's talk all that kind of electric battery kind of info then so powering the brand new Abarth 600e it will have a 54 kilowatt per hour lithium battery and that will be powering the 115 kilowatt electric motor. Now we'll talk about pricing towards the end of this video, but let's go on to the styling. Now, as I said at the start of this video, the 600E looks like nothing that is on the bath market at the moment, which I really like. And it also looks completely different to the current electric 500E bath, which as I say, is currently out on the market. So I like to call it a squashed SUV. So I'll put in some photos in this video of the 600E that I can find online. You're, you guys might have obviously seen the photos already, but that is what I'm working with, okay? So bear with. So yeah, it looks like a squashed SUV, looks quite meaty, it's still got the bubbly kind of shape. So interesting fact, they'll be bringing out a limited edition, launch edition of the Abarth 600E, which will be called a Scorpionisma. I guess that's Scorpion and Charisma put into one word, so very clever thinking Abarth. So just some more info on that launch edition of Scorpionisma. It will be coming in a really gorgeous purple colour and I believe it's called Hypnotic Purple. Great colour name of bath and it looks like a really nice colour. And that launch edition Scorpionisma will be in limited numbers from the factory around 1,949 models. Maybe that's a precise number, who knows. And making the Scorpionisma model stand out from the rest of the normal 600E baths, it will have more of an aggressive styling for example. The styling on the 600E, as I say, I really rate it from the photos that I've seen so far. But on the Scorpionisma model, the big meaty front bumper that you do get on the 600E, there'll be more diagonal lines really adding to that aggression on the Scorpionisma model. All I've seen and read is about the front bumper looking extra meaty, and I like it. Come with a rear spoiler, like most the petrol baths, the one I have behind me. But it's actually a really kind of aggressive massive kind of spoiler kind of reminds me a bit of like the rs focus kind of spoiler you look more aggressive from the front but the back with a protruding rear spoiler they're calling it and i yeah the rear spoiler looks pretty meaty it's going to give it some grunt although it won't sound it but it will sound it actually because the above 600e is going to come with that fake exhaust noise that the current 500e currently comes with so there'll be some speakers hidden away giving you a kind of fake petrol burble and so the wheels look pretty cool they're calling it like a whirlwind kind of effect so it goes like that, like a whirlwind. So I believe the wheels will be finished with black and silver spokes and they'll be available in 20 inches. My above here has only got little diddy 16s and I hate them. But yeah, the wheel design looks really, really cool. 
I just love the design of the Abarth 600e. <laughs> <laughs> I've already said that. And don't you just find, guys, that electric cars always have pretty mad wheel designs and the above 600e is following that trend. So I think for now, I'm going to touch on colours, but it's kind of all a bit of a guessing game. I'm just going by what the internet is providing me at the moment. So I think there's going to be a dark kind of deep red colour. Looks like adrenaline green. That kind of colour might be making an appearance on the 600e. I think there's going to be the blue, which currently exists on the 500E, looks like a very similar shade. And there's the hypnotic purple, which would be on the Scorpion Isma 600E limited edition. That's all I can say on colours at the moment. That's all I think I know about the colours. So red, blue, adrenaline green, and the hypnotic purple, love that name, on the launch edition Scorpion Isma model. Oh, and an orange, and it actually looks like a proper orange colour, a nice bright orange unlike the racing orange that are baths currently wearing well a petrol version so it might be a, an actual nice bright orange coming to an abarth yes although i can't have one but yes and guys to make the abarth 600 is a little less boring as i say it's gonna be the fastest produced abarth with the 240 bhp approximately but they're gonna add an ev specific lsd Yes, the above 600E, an electric car, is going to be getting a limited slip differential. And I am yet to drive an, a, any above with an LSD, but I have experience in LSD and yeah, it just will grip the work road more if you don't know. So to have that more power in an electric bath, but to have the still the road control or more road control with the added LSD, I think would be like a winning combination. And I really want to drive one and see one in the flesh. Oops, I forgot to talk about the price in this video, didn't I? So the above 600E is going to be around about £40,000, comparing it to the current above 500E, which is just over 34000 So that is it then for this video. I just wanted to do a video about the new above 600E, another electric above to hit the above brand and to hit the electric market. It's also, as I say, going to be quicker than the current electric bath model, the 500E. It looks completely different to any bath which currently exists, which I really liked. It's kind of looking a bit like a mini SUV. Obviously, Fiat are going to be producing their own version of the 600E, then the bath are going to have the more souped up one. But even a Fiat version, it's looking more like an SUV kind of car. Then obviously the bath version, it's going to be lowered, obviously still sporting the suv look so it looks like a baby little suv and i really like it i think it just looks a well-rounded car i think it's gonna be really really cool and i can't wait to see it i feel more excited for this model than the current above 500e but i'm yet to drive the 500e for myself and i really can't wait to see the 600e in the flesh i hope you found this video quite useful i just see myself as giving you a bath content and videos i like to be known as the above youtuber nowadays and i just thought it was only rightly so that i'll bring you information on one of the new above ranges to come soon the above 600e thanks for watching this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you like it don't you like it are you excited to see it hit the roads would you buy it i've always thought that even my little going the 500e that i've had recently been driven in not me driving it I would like to own an electric bath as well as a petrol one. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the Abarth 600E. Whether some of the things that I've spoken about in this video are legit facts or it's all just controversial talk and rumours. I don't know, but I'm just going by the information and the research that I've done for this video. I hope you've liked it anyway. Quick little plug also, check out my website, driven247.co.uk, because we have a few limited edition hoodies, as in very limited edition stock sizes and some real nice colours on there as well. And you can also buy some stickers so you can support me, what I do, help fund my bath build by checking out my website. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video. And there will be 100... No, there won't. There'll be 1,900... It will be a 115 kilowatt motor. Back to another bath. No, that is not right. Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another... Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. Now today, we are talking about something which is quite exciting. Failing it, I'm failing it, I'm failing it, I'm failing it.